Y'all know India Batson? Today, I'm trying her hair routine. <laughs> Hey there guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Courtney and for two years now, I have been playing around with this thing called the Curly Girl Method to improve the health of my hair. And about two years ago, when I started doing all this research on how to care for my waves and curls, I stumbled across the beautiful India Batson. Let, let's just take a moment, right? She's gorgeous. And for years and years and years now, she has been embracing and championing her naturally wavy curly hair. And I got to be honest, she's a huge, huge inspiration for me. Cause she's so pretty and so sweet. And I thought it would be a lot of fun to try out her routine on my hair. Now there are some fundamental differences between my hair and India's hair. Heck, there are fundamental differences between everyone's hair. No two heads of hair are exactly the same, but it can be fun to try people's routines and take things from the routine that work for you. And if some things don't work for you from that routine, you know, just maybe put them to the side. And for the sake of wavy curly science, I did go straight to the source India herself, I slid in to her DMs on Instagram and she is, she is just as sweet in Instagram DMs as she is in her videos. She was so kind to let me know what products to use and how to use them to recreate her routine. So let me show you what she told me to use. <laughs> And it's almost perfect. It's not 100% perfect, but it's like really close. <laughs> so first off, she told me to use the Not Your Mother's Curl Talk shampoo. I have used this in the past and I really do enjoy this one. She's a big fan of the Not Your Mother's Curl Talk. Then for conditioner, she told me to use something really nourishing, moisturizing, hydrating. And she suggested the Shea Moisture Daily Hydration Conditioner. And I don't, I don't have that one in my collection, but what I do have that I feel like will be a fairly comparable substitution is the GVP generic conditioning balm. It's basically a copy of the Matrix Biologic conditioning balm. I really like it. It's super, super, super nourishing and moisturizing. So that will be my rinse out conditioner. And then India uses not one, but two hair masks every wash day. And I just happened to have the ones that she suggested. She enjoys mixing a protein free hair mask with a protein hair mask. So I have the Maui Moisture Hair Care Heal Hydrate and Shea Butter Hair Mask for dry and damaged hair. And then I have the Shea Moisture Hydrate Repair Protein Power Treatment. Ah! There we go. <laughs> I'll be using both of these today and throwing things on the floor. And she always rinses out her masks with really cold water. So I will be doing that today. Then she goes in with, can we see it? Maybe. It's the Playa, Playa, <laughs> P-L-A, YA Endless Summer Spray. This is basically a sea salt spray, but it's also got a bunch of other nourishing ingredients in there as well. So she just sprays this all over her head, scrunches it in, and then she goes in with the Not Your Mother's Curl Talk Cream and the Not Your Mother's Curl Talk Gel. I actually really enjoy this gel. So in true India fashion, we're gonna do this in my shower. <laughs> Here I am in my shower. I will be washing my hair right side up for this video because that's how she does it. <laughs> We're keeping things as close to her routine as possible. One of the things that I did forget to mention in the intro is how India's hair and my hair are different. While we both have a wavier curl pattern, India's hair is highlighted, color treated. She's blonder than I am. So her hair porosity is going to be different than mine and 
her hair's needs are going to be different than mine, but I will say that my hair has been desperately needing all the moisture. So I'm excited because her routine is very moisturizing. Let's go ahead. on the mids to the ends, but then she also hits the top and she kind of rubs it in. I don't see her doing a lot of finger detangling. Oh, she does use a brush. I'm gonna grab one in a minute. <laughs> I don't have her tangle teaser, but I do have something similar. This is the perfect hair care brush. I'll just brush that through. There we go. Now I'm gonna rinse this and do the hair masks. Now I'm gonna take equal parts of the Maui Moisture and the Shea Moisture mask, mix them in my hand. Equal parts. Smooth them over just like she does. Hit the top, but not a lot because you don't want to weigh down those roots. Work that through with my fingers. Now I'm just going to brush those through. Make sure everything is very evenly distributed. There are no knots, no tangles. And then I don't know for 100% certain how she puts her towel on. I know she uses the aqueous, aqueous towel. I'm going to be using my perfect care care towel because it's what I have. And it's hanging ugh, right here. And I, I don't think she plops her hair. I think she just throws it up into the towel and then she comes back and damp styles. And I don't think she puts it on super tight. I think she leaves it pretty loose. So that's what I'll do. So I don't soak up too much water, but there we go. Now let's go. Well, I'm going to go get dressed. You stay there. I'm going to go get dressed and then I'll see you back in my bedroom to style. All right. I have let this sit on my head for about 10 to 15 minutes and I'm going to attempt to style just like India. Not gonna lie, the way she does her hair is completely different from the way I do it, but I'm real excited to see how this turns out. So we're just gonna spray this all over. That should be good. Scrunch it in.
everything gently coated. All right, I think I did that right. And then she scrunches in the gel. dry. I did diffuse it for quite a while, but it was still damp after I thought it was dry. <laughs> that always happens to me. I'll be diffusing my hair. I think I'll get it to 100% dry and I'll stop and check it like after 10 minutes when it's had a chance to cool down and it will still be <laughs> wet. So that's why it's always 90% dry. And then I have to wait for to finish air drying. I will say I noticed that my hair did dry quite a bit faster than it normally does and I think that's due to the damp styling and I'm here for it. But now it's time to break the gel cast, scrunch out the crunch, and see what we're working with. I do have a little bit of a gel cast, especially right on the ends, meaning that my hair is just a little bit crunchy. Not bad though. I'm gonna stand up. Oh, ooh. This is pretty. I was not expecting this. I don't know why I wasn't expecting it. I should have been. All right, and here are the final results. I'm pretty excited. I'm pretty impressed. I have good volume and I have pretty good definition. Let me turn around and show you the bag. So there we have it. That is it for this video. Go ahead and comment down below and let me know what you thought. This was an absolutely fun experiment to try. My hair feels so nourished and moisturized while also feeling very lightweight and big and beachy and tousled. And I feel as though I am truly channeling my inner India that's <laughs> <laughs> which is awesome. Also, is there anybody else's hair routine you really would like to see me try? Because this was a whole lot of fun and I would like to try some more. And before you leave, please go ahead and subscribe and click that notification bell. I would love to have you guys stick around for some more videos. And without further ado, that is it for this video, guys. Thank you so, so much for watching. And I hope you are having an absolutely fantastic day and I will talk to y'all later. Bye. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> I never do that. I always just do a wave. I'm so goofy. I'm so zippy. Okay. There we go. I think I'm done.